Hope is rising, fear is fading as a new day dawns. A land adorned with beauty, splendor, and you said it was good. You're the God of the nation. You're the God of the nations. Jesus, heal us out today. Lord, we come with expectation. Move within our hearts. We receive. Let your kingdom come. You're the God of the nations. You are Lord of the South Sudan. You're the God of the nations. Jesus, heal us, South Sudan. I just want to say thank you to all of our partners and uh, those that are supporting and from so many different directions. We are so, so grateful for the seeds you've sown into this land, into this nation. I'm standing right now beside the map of a nation that God is restoring and God is bringing healing to and development to because of the seeds you've sown. Just this last video you've seen of the kit celebration when the church was dedicated, the women rejoiced, they carried the pastor, they're having a women empowerment, ec extremely excited. And the strong testimony from the pastors and the bishops were that that church is a symbol of God staying in the land to remain and also restoring post-war now refugees can come back home and inhabit the land fully because when they saw that building, they said this is a monument of God's healing and restoration in this nation. Let us now come back home. So the church is doing many, many things as well as being the, the center of community transformation and empowering women and worship and children's uh, education. Uh, we're starting village schools in some of the churches, the women empowerment, the prayer meetings. But that was so exciting about Kit to hear that it was a monument of restoration where refugees would now start coming home. So we want to say thank you with all of our hearts because you're a part of seeing this nation completely healed, restored, redeveloped, as well as Uganda where we're working. Thank you with all of our hearts.